Hey, I'm Jason. In this video, we're going to talk about burning in a computer. When you get a new computer, you're going to have all kinds of pop-ups and things to agree to and free trials and stuff on your desktop that you don't need and you don't know what's good or bad. So what we're going to do is go through the process of turning on your computer for the first time and uh, figure out what what to do. So here's what the screen is going to look like. This happens to be a Toshiba laptop, but really any desktop or laptop PC, it's going to be the same screen because they're all Vista now. Um, you're just going to want to hit next. This is going to be really basic. It starts really easy, you know, accepting the license, put in some sort of name. Choose your wallpaper, name the PC, use their recommended settings, set your time zone to whatever yours might be now once you hit start it's going to go through a little setup process that's going to take maybe 15 or 20 minutes and you don't want to turn it off while it's doing that um, right now we're just going to let that one think and I actually have a few laptops here as you can see so we're going to move to the next one which is one step farther along in the process now this is what a Toshiba looks like. Yours is, might, might look a little different. You know, it's going to have things popping up. Maybe your little sidebars here or a, a Norton trial here. Um, the first thing I like to do is close all those windows and get to this. Then I like to, just personal preference, move the recycle bin over down to the bottom of the screen. And then I'm going to create a new folder and just put all this stuff in there so that it, it looks clean. So you just right click anywhere, get new folder. give it some sort of name you remember and just drag the cursor around all those icons and drag them right into the folder and they're gone looks a lot nicer now the second step is going down here to the start button and going to control panel and this is where we can add and remove programs um, what we're going to do now is remove a couple of the trials that are quiet right now, but they're going to be annoying. So it's right under Programs, un Uninstall a Program. It'll take a second for the list to populate. But I'm going to start right here with Google Desktop and uninstall that. That's this kind of annoying box there that nobody really knows how to use unless they've gone out of their way to install it and you know it's really a great tool but most people don't really even need it at all. I proceed with that removal, uninstall. Now what you should uninstall would be definitely any I think any Norton or McAfee trial. I I really don't like those very much and in the next step we're gonna install a, a free antivirus program that it's not going to bother you so much or slow your computer down like Norton and McAfee. Um, here this list is just finishing up. I'm going to uninstall Norton. Um, other things that you'd want to uninstall are going to be any toolbar, MSN toolbar, Yahoo toolbar, you know, Hewlett Packard has some, um, HP update, you know, any updating things, anything that says customer experience improvement, you know, random things like that. There's not anything like that in the Toshiba except this Google toolbar. That's the other one we're going to uninstall after we uninstall this Norton. So while that's going, we're going to go to the, the last step. Now, this laptop I've already kind of uninstalled all the junk and I've arranged in the corner up here all the programs that I'm going to install to make this a good efficient computer. Um, one thing I'll, I'll mention real quick is I put these little icons up here computer and owner shortcuts. You, do, you can do that just by right clicking here and hit personalize and it's under change desktop icons. I just kind of ticked these two computer and users files and then those appeared right up there. Now the, these nine programs I'm going to install are AVG, uh, the free edition of AVG, which is antivirus, Java, Windows Live Messenger, the newest version, Firefox, Adobe Acrobat Reader, uh, Earthen View, Flash Player for Firefox, Real Player Alternative, and iTunes. The computer pretty much has everything else, but it doesn't come with the newest updated versions of any of these, and you know, some of them, like Firefox, it won't come with at all. So, you know, to install programs, you just double click them and get going. Anyway, I'm going to 
let you do this. These are my recommendations. Once you install these programs and your computer is going to be burned in and you're not going to have any crazy pop-ups or anything, you know, the first time you open some programs, for example, Windows Media Player, they're going to have you agree to terms or, you know, something, but it won't be, uh, it won't be difficult. So, uh, there you go. I hope I helped you out. Bye-bye.